morning. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher going. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I just took the boys to school and I was going to run to Costco because I need bananas and greens and stuff, but um, they tried to deliver my iPad mini, which my husband bought me for my birthday. Um, they tried to deliver that yesterday and we missed it because we were both at work and i um, hoping that they deliver it early again today because yesterday I guess they came at 11, so I'm going to stay here and hope that they deliver it soon and since I'm staying in the house and I don't have much to do except read my book, which I, I'm almost finished with and I'm super excited to be almost finished with one of my books, um, which is uh, Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson, if anyone's interested. It's uh, book two of a series. Anyway, I'm, I decided I'm going to make an experiment again. I love experimenting for you guys. <laughs> Usually turns out pretty good, so that's good. I'm going to make a, I don't know what you would call it, maybe a partially Indian type dish or Moroccan type dish, I guess you would say. I don't know. I'm experimenting. I'll show you what I'm going to put in this thing. All right, so I'm going to use some vegetable broth. I'm going to use this chana masala. Not sure if I said that right, which is chickpeas and tomatoes, onions, and spices. So it has already in it um, onions, water, chickpeas, tomatoes, a little bit of oil, coriander, garlic, ginger, salt, mango powder, spices, chilies, bay leaf, and turmeric. So, so I figured it's going to be kind of like a Indian dish and I'm gonna add this Israeli blend of grains which is um, baby orzo couscous baby garbanzo beans and red quinoa so I'm gonna add that to it along with some short grain brown rice this is not the correct container I just pour my Costco bag into here so it's short grain brown rice and an extra can of garbanzo beans, a can of diced tomatoes, I'm going to add some of this Moroccan seasoning from McCormick. Sorry, it's a little blurry. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. And this has cinnamon, cumin, coriander, ginger, cardamom, cardamom? I don't know how to say it. Pepper, 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 <laughs> red pepper, paprika, and turmeric. So that should go good, I think, with, with the other seasonings that are in that thing. And I'm probably going to add a little bit of Costco no salt seasoning. I'm almost out. So I'll probably use what's left of that in there. And I'm going to add a red pepper. I'm really not sure what I should stick in this, um, like vegetable wise. And I don't really have much, much in my fridge. So I'm, basically it's going to be a grains and bean dish. And this, I might add some, I might add some scallions on top when I'm done. I'm really not sure how that will go with it, but anyway, here we go. Okay, so, so far I put the whole um, container of vegetable broth in there, which was 32 ounces. And then I added the can of garbanzo beans and the can of diced tomatoes. And now I'm going to add um, the chana mas marsala, masala. Hey there. So I added in the red pepper and the bag of uh, masala and I'm gonna see how much seasoning is left in here. I'm gonna try to see, let's see. It's about one tablespoon. I'm just gonna use one and a half. There's still a little bit left in there, but I don't think I need that much because this stuff is actually kind of spicy. And, um, so I don't know, I think a tablespoon and a half is going to be pretty spicy. And then I'm going to put um, a tablespoon of this Moroccan seasoning in it as well. Because I want to make sure the rice and all the grains have enough seasoning once they plump up, you know, that it still tastes flavorful. So I'm going to do one and a half of this one also. Now I'm going to rinse my grains. I'm do like a cup's worth of this one because these grains are small and even after they plump up, they're not going to take up that much space. So I think I'm going to do a cup of these and a half a cup of the brown rice and see how that turns out. So I'm going to rinse these first and then stick it in there. So here's my grains all rinsed and let's go over and stick them in the pot. Make 
sure I get that all out. Alright, so we got that in there. Let's mix in our seasoning. Looks like it's going to be pretty good, I hope. I don't know. I don't even know. I've never had this. I've never had this type of thing before. So, I mean, I know I like curry, but I'm not sure how different this is from that. So, I really don't know if I'm going to like it or not. And I'm actually not a huge fan of garbanzo beans unless they're in hummus. So, I don't even know if I like this, but even if I don't, my husband really loves garbanzo beans, so I'm hoping that he will like it. But he's not a fan of curry, so this really is like a big experiment. <laughs> a dangerous experiment. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. So, um, let's see. This is 32 ounces of vegetable broth. I might add a, t a little bit more water because, <clears throat> you know, the grains are going to soak up a lot of the water. So I'm probably going to add maybe another half a cup of water in here since I do have to boil it for 45 minutes because of the brown rice. So yeah, I'm going to put at least a minimum of a half a cup of water in here. So I ended up adding another half cup of water and another half tablespoon of the Moroccan seasoning because I tasted the broth and it does taste really good, like a little bit spicy, not too much, but because it's not that much, I think after all the grains plump up and especially the rice, it'll suck up a lot of the flavor and then it might be a little bland. So that's why I added that extra little bit just in case because I really hate bland food. As you guys should know <laughs> by now. My friend Amy said I must have southern tastes because I really like things very spiced up and uh, full of flavor. So I think I get that from my dad because he's a super spice addict like me. So yeah, I must get that from him. But he's a salt addict. He oversalts everything and it always ends up being like, whoa, you put way too much salt in this. It's gross. But he can't tell the difference. <laughs> so anyway, I'll off subject. So I'm going to cook that for a while and I'm going to read my book while I'm doing that. And I'm just going to relax and hope that my iPad shows up. I'm really excited to get it. Okay, I admitted I caved. I added in the rest of the no salt seasoning. <laughs> I can't handle it guys. I need to know that it has enough flavor. I'm paranoid. So I added in another half tablespoon of this and the rest of the no salt seasoning and another half cup of water because the more I was stirring it I was thinking this really does have a lot of grains in it. I really need to make sure it has enough water. All right the more I taste it the more I think I'm not gonna like it so I'm gonna add a can of tomato sauce to it to give it that savory flavor that I like to have in soups and it already has tomatoes in it so what could a can of tomato sauce hurt right might as well give it a try okay I think it tastes a bit better now and I'm gonna let it start boiling so that um, I can get it going for the 45 minutes that's what it looks like now wish me luck It smells like this curry soup type thing. I can't remember what I put in it. I tried to make this curry soup thing one time and I put like rice noodles in it. And I really liked it, but my husband, he didn't like it. It smells the same. Well, at least if one of us likes it, it won't go to waste. So I know my kids won't like it. Something's crunchy. Something didn't cook all the way. That's not good. Hmm. I think it was something in the green. Actually, it might be the rice. It might be the brown rice. I don't know. It tastes good, but the rice or something didn't cook all the way. If you make it, make sure you... Make sure you probably put another half a cup of water and make sure that it did start to boil so that it would cook all the way. I don't know, I don't do very good with, with brown rice. I'm not very good at cooking rice. I think I'm going to add probably more than a half a cup of water because this is actually pretty thick after stirring it up. Because I did look up online about rice and it said that you can add extra water and then just bring it back to a boil again. 
So I think I'm going to put some more water in it and boil it again just to make sure my rice gets soft because you know nobody wants to eat hard rice. But anyway, at least it tastes good, so you guys should give it a try if you like uh, Indian-type food. So, I would say, I don't know, 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'm glad I added the extra seasonings, like I said, because it's, um, it's not overpowering in flavor. It's just like, it turned out really good, actually. So yeah, give it a try.